guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm doing a subscriber requested video to do a review of the Tarot del Toro uh, created by Tomas Hijo. And uh, this is a deck I got uh, well a little while back, uh, but I've had a chance to work with it, get to know it, uh, so that I can give it a proper review. Um, so first of all, I just want to take a look at this awesome box. You can see that it's all raised, and actually. I'm going to talk about that and why that is in just a moment as we dive in. So here we go, designed and carved by Tomas Hijo, very well-known Spanish artist, inspired and supervised by Guillermo del Toro. Nice. Alrighty. Um, so I did get this off of uh, Amazon and I will put the link down below if you're interested, but otherwise I just make these reviews so that you can, you know, get to see a lot of the wonderful variety of artwork out there uh, that accompanies our favorite tool, which is tarot. <laughs> so, okay, um, let's take a look inside the box first. Like this is cool. I love like the extra touches, you know? So there's that. Um, and then we have our awesome guidebook. You'll see the cards in just a moment. Um, but I would say definitely take a look at the guidebook since this is a very uh, unique deck. Um, so there's a forward by Guillermo del Toro. And then, uh, of course, it's written and illustrated by Tomas Hijo. All right. So um, first getting in here. Just kind of take you through it and then of course you know I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about it um so Guillermo del Toro kind of talks about his like how the collaboration came to be between uh he and Tomas Hijo um and then in the introduction uh talking about uh why kind of like why and how um Tomas Hijo decided to use the particular images so the images for um the court cards and the major arcana actually come from uh, Guillermo del Toro's movies, you know, so, uh, you know, just do an IMBD if you don't know exactly who he is, you know, Hellboy, there's a lot of like, you know, other well-known movies out there uh, that he has created. But anyway, um, so his friend and mentor, uh, Tomas Hijo's friend and mentor, uh, Don Miguel, um, is blind and so he obviously hadn't been able to see any of uh, the del toro movies but tomas hijo was able to explain them to him because he's very traditional and he's like no 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 like tarot needs to look like a certain way or marseille or whatever you know and so you know finally uh he was able to explain you know uh oh here comes loki <laughs> he was able to explain the movies to him and he could finally see uh, the connections between the characters in the movies with, um, you know, the archetypes in tarot. And, uh, well, you know, the wood carvings that you'll see here, you know, also are very tactile, you know, so that, uh, you know, his friend who was blind would also be able to, you know, quote unquote, see what he had created, you know, because obviously, you know, his, his uh, sense of sight isn't available, but touch uh, offers that sight to him. So I thought that was great. And so that's also kind of like the reason why you see, you know, the, the raised portions here. So I thought that that was just like super cool. Um, and the fact that when you guys finally see this, like, really, you carved all of that? That's freaking amazing. <laughs> so anyway, it goes into kind of the, the major arcana, of course, all the cards, but it also shows like the connection, the movie connection uh, with the card um, or the character in the movie. And then you'll have a little quote down here from Guillermo del Toro. So yeah, it's, and it's all in color, of course, as you see. Um, yeah, and then you get into your, your minors and, you know, all these, all this stuff here. Um, in the back, let me see if I can get here. Um, there are some spreads to use. So we have Don Miguel's cross spread. You know, and it's always fun to try out uh, spreads from the deck creators, you know. Okay, and a little bit about the collab person and the creator. There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these out. Uh, down here, are, well, this was like an extra just 
blank card, but <laughs> um, this is just also kind of just a little little title card here. You know, it says Tarot do Toro. And you can see that this is actually like a photograph of the carved wood. Like how cool is that? Like this isn't this isn't like some painting or something like this is carved wood like you know okay I love paintings too I mean I'm not knocking paintings I'm just saying that this is a maze balls like you can see all the like like oh my gosh that's just so cool okay anyway um let's take a look at the backs of these cards first of all super cool um, if you read reversals, I don't think these backings would uh, attribute themselves very well for that. But um, I do read in my cards in the inverse position. I just don't physically need them upside down. So maybe, I don't know, maybe give it a shot that way or just whatever. <laughs> Have to look at them, you know, <laughs> not being reversible. Um, the cardstock, I would say, is a little thinner than I would like. I would probably like a little bit thicker cardstock, but you could tell it's coated. Um, it's got that bendiness to it. So I don't think it's going to get destroyed over time. Um, I just like thicker cardstock. So that's just personal preference. I'm like not knocking anything. Um, but yeah, so I, I would say it's a little on the more bendy, flexible side. So if you're more of a riffle shuffler, this would be great for you. For me, I'm a side shuffler. So um, you know, I just like it a little thicker. Okay, let's take a look at the cards. Okay. So yeah, I mean, this is all carved, you guys. Like all of this, this is carved. This is not like computer done or any of that. And of course it was later than, you know, um, color was added, but it's just, that's, I don't know, that's just amazing to me. Um, so yes, each of these characters here represent a character from the Del Toro movies. Um, it's just too cool. Okay, so this is a pip deck. However, and me, I'm usually not a fan of pip decks. Um, what made me end up like going for it, even though, you know, I mean, I love the deck overall, um, is that something in the wood carving gives it character and it doesn't feel like, oh, I just like cranked out some swords and some coins and, you know, <laughs> uh, some cups, so on and so forth. It's like, these are all, it's, it's unique, you know, the each one. Oh my gosh. So yeah, the feel, the energy that's in it, like, really comes through. So to me, it's not like your average pip deck. I wouldn't even call it that. This is just a tarot deck, you guys. A really bomb diggity one. So if you know uh, Del Toro's movies, you know that um, they can be a little cray cray. <laughs> so yes, the images are a little off the wall, but I like it like that. See, I mean... These are, these are unique. I like basically gazing past into the actual woodwork carvings. That hierophant is bomb. Oh, and if you were wondering, I don't think I did a little um, side by side. Um, let me grab a tarot deck here. If you were wondering like what the standard tarot size is compared to this one, the um, tarot del toro is like slightly wider and just a little bit taller than your, your standard tarot size. So I just forgot to mention that, but I figured I'd throw that in now. And uh, I, you know, like I said, I gave myself some time to read for the, with this. 
the messages are insanely like on point and it hits hard. <laughs> so this is more like a, a shadow work deck for me. Um, but I, I'm not shying away from it though, you know, because I like the quirky way in which it administers those messages. So I think I'm a little more open to it, but it definitely wants to stab at my shadow. It's like, Hey, what about this? Have you worked on this? No, I think not. <laughs> with that justice card. So yeah, they're just, you know, having the help of Guillermo del Toro and um, Tomas Hijo's friend and mentor, Don Miguel, you know, together, all three of them created a, a fabulous deck. <laughs> that devil though <laughs> hold on let's get these all situated here okay And I like the um, tea stained cardstock too. I think that's that's pretty cool. Or uh, it's probably more like wood stain. Yeah, because it's wood carving. <laughs> It's like got such a quirkiness to it. It's like kind of dark and kind of like weird, but it's also like super quirky. Like it's got a sense of humor. Yes, it pokes your shadow, but it's got a sense of humor where doing it, which is probably why I'm more open to, um, you know, working through those things. That's a unique tower. It's like literally somebody's head. This card comes up a lot. I'm just like lost in the images, so pardon me if I'm like a little quiet-ish. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and after this video, I'm gonna be using this. <laughs> As I'm like looking at all this, I'm like, you know what? I just decided I need to give myself another reading. <laughs> all right, and then our very last card is the lover's card. Ooh, it got dark here rather fast. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna do a little mini reading. So not only do you get a deck review, but hey, you get a little mini reading if it connects with you. Hey, awesome sauce. If it doesn't, then hopefully you just enjoyed the review. And remember, I'm just trying to show off, you know, wonderful art that's out there. I'm not ne necessarily saying everybody needs to go buy this or that. Um, but you, if you are interested, like I said, I'll put the link down below. Okay, so let's just pull a few cards. Um, we have the Judgment card. All right, we have the Six of Cups. And we have the Strength card. Okay, let's, let's take a look at these, actually. So we have judgment, judgment. Again, just like in awe with like those, those carvings, six of cups. Hmm. 
and the carvings really make it like it's like it's 3d I mean it was 3d at some point but you know on paper <laughs> um, and then we have the strength card which is actually my birth card so that's cool okay so let's see how would I put this together for you guys okay so um, you guys well I mean the people that this is connecting to and possibly myself um, there are certain realizations that maybe have been um, op uh, opening themselves up to you you know you're starting to realize certain things about yourself and your environment uh, or maybe this is to come and what this is uh, uh, advising you to do of course it never tells you to do anything but what, it, what this is advising you to do um, is when those realizations come if you could just fall back on your previous experiences, um, you know, and how you got through those, not to say that this exact same thing is coming up, but more um, related skills. So the skills that you acquired um, due to past situations can help you more easily in this situation. And then you'll come out a lot more strong if you can do that. So instead of uh, attacking this with, oh my gosh, this has never happened before. I am totally ill-equipped and I don't know what to do. You are equipped. You've gone through a lot of different experiences throughout your life, but um, you know it may not have been the same experiences, but you do have the tools in your toolkit. So it's time to start revisiting some of those those things and figure out what you have in your, in your arsenal in order to um, get through this and make this a new experience that you can now also add to your arsenal. So it will put you in a more empowered position instead of a more victim type position. All right, so anyway, I hope you guys dug this review and I hope you dug this little reading. So let me know if that actually connected with you. <laughs> and that's it for me, your spiritual homies. If you dug this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Not only do I have a plethora of readings, but I also have my room and body sprays. I have my salves. I have my travel witch altar pendants, ancestral altar pendants, uh, rainbow bridge pendants. Um, and oh, I also have my Wally's World Oracle, which was community created and community funded May of last year. It's my little Wally Wally toe. <laughs> um, and you can sign up for the Leon Mystery School. There are several courses uh, being taught by uh, many people that you would recognize from here on YouTube, including myself, uh, teaching you everything from Mayan astrology to working with the ancestors, using tarot to dive into past life work, uh, working with love spells, uh, programming and utilizing crystals for your everyday life and also merging science, spirituality, and crystals. There's a lot of different stuff, so definitely check it out. They're four week long courses, um, and uh, they have everything from you know audios, meditations, uh, instructional videos, PDFs. Uh, you get one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, work with your instructor through uh, either Zoom or uh, Google Classroom or you know uh, StreamYard, you know other different platforms. Uh, for each of the four weeks and you get a certificate of completion at the very end. So definitely go check it out. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it <laughs> and I appreciate all the students who have gone through so far. Um, and hey, if you want to throw a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. And I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.